Hi, I'm Greg, and welcome to Passion of the Geeks Unplugged. Usually, Pat and I talk about geek and pop culture and everything else we enjoy, but sometimes there are things that only one of us is an expert in. This is what Passion of the Geeks Unplugged is for. Shorter, unedited, straight to the point. Unplugged. So let's not lose any time. This week, I would like to talk to you about one of my favorite actor-director collaborations, Klaus Kinski and Werner Herzog. You probably know Werner Herzog as that guy with the crazy German accent from The Mandalorian, and Klaus Kinski as that guy with all the rage outbursts. But the five movies they made together are actually worth checking out. Kinski is a very controversial figure, and there are things from his private life that I'm definitely not a fan of. But let's focus on these movies. Their first collaboration was Aguirre, The Wrath of God. It tells the story of a 16th century conquistador trying to find the fabled city of El Dorado. It's an adaptation, a loose adaptation of Heart of Darkness, the same story that Apocalypse Now is based on. It's very interesting to see how Kinski portrays the descent into madness of Aguirre while searching for El Dorado. It's a theme that actually goes through most of the movies that Herzog and Kinski made together. It's always about the character, his obsession, and how this obsession usually leads to his demise. Aguirre is definitely an example of that. Another thing that also started during Aguirre is, let's say, their weird collaboration process. Kinski was a madman, and he threw fits of rage basically every day on the set. If you Google Kinski outburst, you're going to see some of the meanest rage outbursts out there. It's actually a wonder that they continued working together after that. But after watching the movie you see that there is some magic in there as well. Seems like genius and madness often go together. Their second collaboration was a remake of Friedrich Wilhelm Murnau's Nosferatu, Nosferatu the Vampire. It's a actually pretty faithful remake of the original German silent film classic, obviously in color, with sound, but they do another very interesting thing. And again, it's Kinski's acting who does a great job in showing us the loneliness, kind of the tragic loneliness that the Count Nosferatu, or let's be honest, Dracula, actually goes through. Loneliness is another key theme that we keep seeing through their work. Kinski's characters are always so obsessed that it's pretty lonely where they are. Their third collaboration was Wojciech, an adaptation of the unfinished famous Georg Büchner play. Again, Kinski's acting shows the despair that some people go through. Wojciech, obsessed, lonely, and a town who's equally so. I remember reading Wojciech in school. Unfortunately, they did not show us this movie. They showed us a very, very boring one. But again, it's interesting to see that Herzog's and Kinski's collaboration leads to a very, very interesting version of a classic that's yeah, basically universally known in Germany. Their fourth collaboration, and I would argue probably my favorite, is Fitzcarraldo. Inspired by real-life events, again, a story about obsession and a very troubled production. If you heard any stories of Kinski's behavior on a set of a Werner Herzog movie, it's probably this one. This is the movie where, apparently, one of the extras offered Herzog to kill Kinski. Herzog declined Fitzcarraldo is actually a very ironic movie. It tells the story of Brian Sweeney Fitzgerald, Fitzcarraldo, who tries to travel 
with a steamboat through the Amazon. At one point, he needs to transport that steamboat over a mountain. Obviously, an endeavor that's not very likely to succeed. You don't need to be a genius to see the theme of obsession again. What I always liked about it is that to make this movie, Herzog and his crew, and Kinski a little bit as well, tried to do the same thing, or actually did the same thing. They traveled with a steamboat over a mountain as well. So silly, so silly. But yeah, if you watch one of these movies that they made together, I would probably go for Fitzcarraldo. It's just a good movie. Their last collaboration was Cobra Verde. Set in the early 19th century, bandit Francisco Manuel da Silva, Cobra Verde. Overseer over 600 slaves, gets sent to Africa to die. But, but with cunning and brutality, he becomes vice king and starts a revolution. It's not difficult to see a connection between all these movies. It's always about the character, played by Kinski, obsessed, lonely, on a journey into madness. I'm not sure if Kinski was the only actor to play these roles. And I'm not sure if it was necessary for all these yeah, productions to be so difficult. But it seems that the production mirrors the action in the movie. The last movie I would like to talk about is a documentary by Werner Herzog about his relationship with Klaus Kinski. It's called My Best Fiend, My Leaps to Find, and is a very interesting portrait of their collaboration. That the madness that led to genius, and it showcases Kinski's good and his bad sides. Obviously, Herzog tries to yeah, come across as the same person, but he's actually not vilifying his collaborator. Obviously, he shows what Kinski did, he shows his outbursts, he showed how he behaves towards the crew, not very good, but he's also able to look at the work they produced together and see what Kinski was able to deliver. It's one of those things where I think they actually respected each other, but at least Kinski was too mad to actually admit it. It's very interesting that for what Klaus Kinski is and his space that he occupies in the, in the acting world, those five movies that he did with Werner Herzog are probably most responsible for it. As I said before, the best movie they did together is probably Fitzcarraldo, but Aguirre, Cobra Verde, and Nosferatu, and even Wojciech, they definitely all are worth watching. But if you only watch one movie I talked about today, it's My Best Fiend. You get a little bit of the story of all the five movies, and you definitely get the best and worst of Klaus Kinski as well. That being said, it's very interesting to see how close genius and madness are together. And I would actually say that Kinski's demons were definitely a part of his genius. It's the only way to explain his intensity and his rawness. One thought about Werner Herzog, though, he comes across as a yeah obsessed, but relatively sane person as well. But you have to ask yourself, who in his right mind makes five movies with Klaus Kinski? I'm glad he did, though, because I would not miss those five movies. Aguirre, The Wrath of God, Nosferatu, The Vampire, Wojciech, Fitzgeraldo, Cobra Verde, and My Best Fiend. So, this is it for this week. This was Passion of the Geeks Unplugged. Please like, share and subscribe to this podcast. We're on all major podcasting services, 
and on www.passionofthegeeks.com. You can send questions and suggestions to passionofthegeeks at gmail.com and you can find us on Twitter at passionotgeeks. Take care. Mm-hmm.